hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i'm so excited i finally get to share with you my spring capsule wardrobe and you have no idea how excited i was filming this because i just i loved it and i know you're gonna love it but for today's video i have chosen out 16 items and i will be styling those 16 items in as many ways as i possibly can so a capsule wardrobe i think capsule wardrobes are essential to any successful wardrobe you can always add to your capsule wardrobe but having those kind of key basic pieces is the perfect way to having a successful and wearable wardrobe so for the first part of the video i will be kind of styling all these items and then at the end of the video i'll be taking a moment and just kind of chatting to you about all the different pieces that i chose why i chose them and just kind of some tips and tricks on building your own capsule wardrobe but before we get chatting away don't forget to subscribe as well as do follow me on instagram i would love to have you there i will leave that somewhere up here but anyways Let's get into this 2021 spring capsule wardrobe.
You can never walk alone on your way to being free. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah. But you can never walk alone on your way to being free. On the way to being free
I really, really hope you guys enjoyed that kind of a styling bit. But now I want to take a moment and actually talk about all the pieces that you just saw me style. And I think when it comes to capsule wardrobe, you absolutely do not have to have all of these exact pieces, but they are here to kind of give you an idea of what you could look for. So white trousers, a knitted sweater, an oversized blazer, a more fitted blazer. These are kind of just ideas to kind of help you build your own wardrobe. So you absolutely do not have to have these exact pieces, but let's start from the top and work our way down. So blazers, blazers are my absolute favorite. And for the spring season, I have chosen two kind of slightly different blazers, but both of them are in very neutral tones. So you have a kind of lighter cream and then you have a more kind of topier, warmer toned blazer. But the biggest difference with these two blazers are the fit. So with this one here, this is the agency blazer. This one is much more oversized, much more relaxed. In all fairness, it's much easier to kind of dress down. This is the Lupo blazer, one of my favorites. It's got such a beautiful light color, but it's got a more tailored fit. So when a blazer is a little bit more tailored, it's gonna be a little bit easier to dress up. And so spring is that season where it's still kind of chilly out. You still wanna be able to have something to throw over top of your t-shirts or sweaters, whatever. And for me, having two types of blazers that you can either dress up or down is essential. And of course, I kept tones very, very neutral. Keeping tones neutral is gonna ensure that you can match these blazers with as many things as possible. So that was blazers. Now knitted items. I have two knitted items. I have this beautiful pink knitted um, kind of mock neck turtleneck from Reese. It is so, so beautiful. And this item, I really wanted it to be a statement item. Now, when it comes to color, keep your colors muted. I think keeping those colors muted is really, really helpful because again, you're gonna be able to match it with more items. And so again, spring is not gonna be hot yet. It's not super cold. So having a knitted sweater still in there is gonna be nice for those chillier days. At the same time, when it starts to warm up, I have chosen this beautiful kind of white knitted vest. It's still gonna provide a little bit of warmth, but you're losing the sleeves, you're losing the turtleneck. It's gonna be much more open. And again, keeping with white, you're gonna be able to match this with just about anything because white goes with, well, everything. Next, we have actual tops. So I have chosen out three tops for this capsule wardrobe. The first one is, well, your classic t-shirt. I personally don't wear a lot of t-shirts, but this is something that I, without a doubt, would have in my capsule wardrobe. A white t-shirt is just a basic. You cannot go wrong with it. For those days that you just wanna be comfy and casual, um, I mean, I don't have to say anything else about this. It's a white t-shirt. You gotta have one. The other two tops I have chosen out are two button downs. So we have this Cezanne white button down and this Aritzia button down. For these two pieces, although they were both button downs, I actually went with two very different silhouettes. So this blue one here is much more oversized. It's that kind of classic kind of menswear fabric. So a little bit more structured, a little bit more rigid. This is gonna be nice when you actually wanna, you know, dress up a little bit more. And this blue, it just screams spring to me. And then you have a white button down. Really, it's just the equivalent of a white t-shirt. You cannot go wrong with this. It's a white button down. <laughs> so anyways, those are my two shirts. And then the next few items in this capsule wardrobe, which I'm not gonna hold up because there's a few of them, but it's pants. So for the pants, I went with two kind of wider leg flared styles and then two more tapered, kind of your classic fitting trousers. I have recently kind of found a new love for more wide leg trousers. I find them very comfy and yet still flattering because they really, really show off your waist. And so for me, having those kind of different silhouettes makes it really, really easy to just kind of have different options when it comes to dressing. And then colors, again, no bright colors. We kept it very neutral. We have your whites, your blacks, and your neutrals. Um, so again, everything can kind of go together. And of course, yes, I did include one skirt, it's a twirl skirt. We all know how much I love my twirl skirts. Um, we're inseparable, okay? Okay, what can I say? But for me, having a midi length skirt in my spring wardrobe is essential. It is not quite warm enough yet to be wearing short dresses or short skirts, but having something that's gonna give you a little bit more coverage is perfect. And much like my knitted sweater, 
I really wanted to have fun with the color here, so I went with this beautiful kind of muted blue. The muted blue is just really something that was gonna go with all the other colors that are kind of in this capsule wardrobe. Okay, and now the fun part, accessories. So I chose two bags and three pairs of shoes for this capsule wardrobe. The first bag that I chose is my tabby top handle. It's classic, it's black. Black is gonna be something that goes with absolutely everything. And because it's got a detachable strap, it's something that can be made very dressy because it's just your top handle. The other bag that I chose is my Pauline number no. 7. If you've watched my vlogs, you will know that this has been my absolute favorite bag recently. And I really wanted to have fun with color here because you could be wearing a very simple kind of monochromatic outfit and adding a bag of color is just gonna take that outfit to a whole other level. On top of that, I wanted a bag that unlike the tabby that's on the smaller side, this one is a little bit bigger. It's gonna be a little bit more functional if you have to go somewhere for a longer period of time and you just wanna carry more with you. Having kind of those two bags that offer you those different functions is I think key to a capsule wardrobe. And now shoes. Shoes are so, so, so important because they're really gonna finish off any outfit. So first shoe that I have chosen is actually a boot. Um, again, this is going to be dependent on where you're kind of living, but here in Canada, I will still be wearing boots for the next few weeks um, and it still gets chilly. But for me, having something like this, you know, if it's a chillier day and I still want to get use of my midi skirt, this is going to provide a little bit more coverage kind of um, on my ankles. So it's just going to provide a little bit more warmth, but you're still going to be able to wear it with all of your trousers since I do have some tapered trousers in here. The next pair of shoes that I have are a pair of nude heels. Heels are something that are great for work if you have to go out, not like many of us are going out right now. Having a pair of heels is going to allow you to dress up pretty much any outfit. And since we are heading into spring, I want to keep the color lighter as opposed to darker. So as opposed to going with a black pump, I went with a nude pump. Again, we have loads of neutrals in here. So having a nude pair of heels is really just going to balance out whatever you have going on with the rest of your body. And the last pair of shoes that I have chosen are my white Axel Arigato sneakers. I get so, so many questions from women regarding what do I wear with a suit? What do I wear with something that's fancy and I, I just can't wear heels? Wear your white sneakers. The trick with this is to find sneakers that are classy. You don't want sneakers that you can run in or sneakers that are necessarily too chunky, but finding something that is, you know, it's still feminine, it's still kind of athletic, and again, very, very crisp and clean. It's gonna finish off any outfit beautifully, regardless of how dressy it is. So having a pair of white sneakers is, in my opinion, just an absolute essential. You will never see me without a white pair of sneakers. White sneakers are essentially gonna provide that final kind of aspect to this wardrobe, which you have something dressy, you have something to keep you warm, and now you have something that can be dressed down and that is comfortable. You always wanna have those varieties when building your wardrobe. You wanna make sure that whether you're doing something like running errands, attending a dinner, going to an interview, you wanna have something that can target each and every one of those events or kind of activities. I hope I didn't miss anything, but all the pieces that are mentioned in this video will be linked down below. Again, you absolutely do not have to pick up every single one of these items, but if you have a pair of white pants in your wardrobe, add that to your capsule wardrobe. If you already have a knitted sweater that's, I don't know, white, add that to your capsule wardrobe. This is just to kind of give you a sense of what items I would add into my capsule wardrobe. But anyways, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you guys over there, but that's it. That's it for me today. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.